I have a buyer who found a product or service that's comparable and they found it for a couple thousand dollars less. What do I do? I'm Scott Sylvan Bell. It's August 7th, 2017, 9.29 in the morning. Perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about closing. Now this happens every single day in sales. People go out, they talk to multiple people and they say, hey, look, you know, somebody else is willing to do this for less. Now, here's a strategy that I'm gonna tell you. First off, you need that person to get back in front of you. You need them to be sitting in front of you somehow and you know, get them to come back in, go to their place of business, go to their house if that's what you do and say, hey, look, let me come back and go over all the information with you. It is easier to close that job face-to-face -face in person most of the time than it is on the phone. Okay, so let's say you can't do that. So, okay, let's talk about what are they offering. Run down the list. What is? What are you hesitant about? Is it only about the money or is there other things that you like that I do? So it's an either or situation. If you can get the person to an either or, like is it about the money or is it about something else? They may reveal some information for you and say, hey, look, you know, I really like their product, but here's what I think the weakness is. And this is going to come down to your ability to have a conversation and ask tough questions. And a lot of salespeople in their mind, they're just like, okay, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is discount. Well, what if that person never really had a proposal, a bid, or an idea from another person? They're just like, hey, how much money can I get off on this job? And they're calling up and saying, I want $2,000 off because that guy's prepared to do it. And, you know, that's what it's going to take for me to do the deal. There's some companies who say, yeah, go for that. But as a salesperson, for you to be really good, ask some really good questions. Find out what they're getting. Find out what the specifics about it. Is it the same product? Is it the same service? Right? And then find out what else, what else is involved. Does it have warranties? Does it have guarantees? And, you know, you could do the Benjamin Franklin close where you say, like, their product right here and you list everything down that they're doing. And then you have your product right here and all the things that you're doing. So the things that they're not doing, there's tons of different ways to deal with this, but you got to know if you're in sales any period of time, one week, this is going to happen. You're going to find somebody who's willing to do a job for less, to sell a car for less, a product for less. No matter what you do, there's always somebody willing to do it for less. So one, if you can get that person back in front of you, say, Hey, look, bring in that proposal or let me come out and see you, and let me see what that person wrote down. And then you're going to find a lot of times it's not, it's not apples for apples. That person's just like, it might be that this product had a cloth interior and this one had a leather and yours was a better product. Hey, look, we got to go over this. There's a little bit more of a charge because, or this one had a warranty and this one didn't. We got to go over that because there's a warranty involved. But here's the thing, instead of just going straight for the like, well, okay, well, I'll give you a discount, find their buying criteria, which you should have done earlier in the sales process, ask really good questions, and if all possible, get out in front of them, get them to give you the information, get them to fax it over. And there are some people out there that they don't care about value. They don't care about anything else. All they care about is the lowest dollar that they can get. And they're the people who go and complain all over Facebook and, and the other social review sites that they got bad service because that's all they cared about, okay? That's typically not your buyer, right? That's not the person that I want to deal with. That's not the person that I go after when I'm looking for people to do business with. So just know there are people out there who are going to say, I found it for $2,000 less to get the quick discount and hopefully because they like you better. If they're calling you and they're calling you back, they do like you better. They want to go with you. You know, if they don't want to do business with you, they're not going to call you. So there's a reason why they're calling you. That's one of the things that you have to absolutely understand. So there you go. You're dealing with somebody who's got a product or a service for a couple thousand or a couple hundred dollars less. Figure out why. And you know what? Sometimes you may have to throw something in or give a small discount. It's not always like if someone's $2,000 less that you got to match that price. Okay. And you got to be able to explain that away. I wish I could, I could match that price. Here's the thing. In order for me to give you X, Y, and Z and give you all the service that we have all these reviews for, I can't do that. But here's what I can do. Right? So that's always the phrase that I use. I can't do that, but here's what I can do. And it's something that I learned from just being around for a long time. Or like somebody asks, tells you a question, like, I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't pay that much. Okay, well, what can you pay? That's like you can reverse it and go, go from there with them, okay? But there are going to be people who come in. They're like, well, this guy's a couple thousand or a couple hundred dollars less, and I'm going to go with them unless you could do something for me. Well, they said something. They didn't say everything. They didn't say, like, all that amount. They just want to win. Right? Not everybody's so caught up in like, that one's $29,000 and I have to get it for $29,000.01 in order for you to get the job. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Right? It just really depends upon your circumstances. But we're talking about a video they're watching on YouTube or some other social site. So there you go. That's how you can deal with it. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.